It bothers us when we see a mystery. We, we want to know what the answer is. It's the human desire to understand the human situation. We want to know what's out there. We want to know the beauty that maybe we don't directly perceive, but that science can show us. What is the ultimate nature of our physical world? The physicists will tell you this. Everybody now says there's the philosophy, shut up and calculate. And the shut up part is don't ask deep questions about understanding what you're doing. There are a lot of physicists out there who really got into physics because they want to study these big questions. Where did the universe come from? What is time? What does it all mean? Really fundamentally understanding physical reality. And then they get told, no, don't really think about that stuff. Think about something that's really practical. We, with the Foundational Questions Institute, attempt to shed more light on these really, really big questions that were rarely given time to think about in standard academia. Here, you're supposed to think about the ideas at the edges of what you do. We run conferences where we really try to get together people from all over the world that are like-minded in this way. There's a new community between theorists and experimentalists forming that hasn't been there. To see the perspective of people who are studying in completely different ways makes me realize what my discipline is like a little bit better. Some people complain that knowing the answer destroys the mystery. I don't see it that way. The question of the nature of time was first something that we ran as a global essay contest. That question generated so much excitement and so much thinking in the community. They all went online, there was a big debate, thousands of posts and replies. You start with one of the most familiar things, the passage of time, and yet it ties directly in to some of the frontier questions in physics. I spent quite a lot of time trying to visualize what you might mean by space does not exist. I'm obsessed with symmetries, patterns that emerge from the local interaction. You reach a critical point where the atoms start aligning with each other. And pretty quickly, we haven't just got two electrons, we've got two entire worlds. The past, present, and future are only illusion. Time is just a transient thing. You think of time as laid out, the timescape, just like the landscape, you unfurl a map, it's all there together. The idea that we can make big progress and really undermine our current conception of the world and replace it with something that's both better and more interesting, that keeps happening. <laughs>